Hi guys, this is me, Chef Adil, and today I have gotten a very simple and flavorful dish for you. But before beginning with the recipe, let me tell you a short story behind why did I choose this recipe for you today. So me and my friends used to go to Goa every December every year to my friend's place where his nani used to feed us a very delicious chicken vindaloo. And trust me, this is the most amazing chicken vindaloo we've ever had. So after a lot of hard work and requests, I've finally gotten this recipe from her, and today I am here to show you how it's made. So let's begin. So let's heat the pan. So let me tell you the difference between an ordinary chicken vindaloo and this amazing chicken vindaloo is the spices and their ratios. The ratios are very important. First of all, I'll take some green cardamom, some mustard seeds. cloves some cinnamon sticks lots of black peppercorns so in this recipe we'll get a spiciness from black peppercorns as well as the chilies so be generous with the black peppercorn cumin seeds that is jeera methi ke dane also known as fenugreek seeds and lastly some coriander seeds we have to roast them till they are fragrant nice so these spices are nicely roasted i can smell the aroma over here i'll switch off the gas and transfer them into a bowl so that they cool down so jab tak mere spices thande ho rahe let's prepare to grind the masala and for the masala i'm taking some overnight soaked kashmiri red chilies soaking them is very important otherwise you won't be able to grind it into a fine paste so here goes the chilies along with the seeds i need that spicy flavor some whole garlic roughly chopped ginger to get that lush red color of your vindaloo it is very important for you to soak your chilies overnight now is the time to put the most important ingredient of the dish some rice wine vinegar most of the people prefer soaking the chilies in vinegar but i prefer it in water And now is the time to add our roasted spices. And it's time to grind them. I think it's done. I wish you could smell this amazing paste. Scrape every bit of it so that nothing goes waste. Nice. Now, 60% of our work is done. The paste is ready. Now, let's get to the recipe and grab a kadai. Here I have a kadai. Flame on. So now the kadai is nice and hot. Some oil. That's it. Once the oil is hot, we'll add some chopped onions. It's time to saute them. Just make sure you do not brown the onions. Otherwise, wo vindaloo ka jo color hai na, wo kharab ho jayega. The onions are fried nice and pink. It's time for some green chilies. Now once you've fried the onions and the green chilies really well, put in some chopped tomatoes. 
and saute them. So as you see, the tomatoes are nice and mushy now. This is the indication that you should put your masala right in. Now goes the star paste. Wow. It's smelling heaven. You know when I learned the recipe from my friends Nani, she used to say, ki, although the spices in the masala are roasted, the chilies were raw. So, just cook this paste on a very low heat for a long time and that's the trick to get the perfect color and the perfect taste. As you can see, the oil has started oozing out from the edges. This is the indication the masala is cooked properly and time to add the chicken. I'll put my spatula, grab a bowl of chicken and So nice clean curry cuts of chicken. Make sure to coat all the pieces of chicken in the masala so they absorb the masala well and cook along. Nice. Now we'll add a little bit of water just to give chicken the moisture to get cooked. Mix everything well. So the chicken pieces are well coated. Swad anusar namak. Dhakan dhaku deo. So here I have this amazing chicken vindalu curry bubbling. You remember we've added a lot of spice in this, a lot of tart through vinegar. Now it's time to cut it down with some jaggery. So a pinch of jaggery to balance the flavors. A quick mix. And oh my god. This amazing chicken vindalu is ready. Switch off the flame and serve it. Some nice chicken pieces. Drumstick because it's my favorite. And a lot of curry. One more drumstick. Standing like this. A bunch of fresh coriander to give it some freshness. So with this, this amazing chicken vindalu recipe from my friends Nani is ready. So please do make this recipe and let me know how did it turn out to be. Until then, see you next time.